I definitely think when I first started, it was really challenging because we were starting our beauty brand from the Middle East and it wasn't common to do that. And it was almost like we were pioneering. And I remember saying to my husband so many times, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. There's not a blueprint for me to follow, but I've always trusted my intuition when I've made decisions. And I do feel that any time I've ever made the wrong decision, it's because I allowed somebody to interfere and override my intuition. Sometimes you really need to trust your gut. My husband, well, I've known him forever. I had a crush on him. <laughs> and then I met him on my 16th birthday, actually. I was walking home from school and somebody yelled, hey, Huda, happy birthday. I started dating almost 20 years ago. And uh, yeah, we've been together since. The goal is to make us the number one beauty brand in the world. What's crazy is it's with my family. Everyone is involved in the business, from my husband to my daughter. Mom is not involved in the business. She's the only person who's not. She's probably the smartest one out of everyone <laughs> not to get involved. Like a fire, I definitely think being in the beauty industry, a lot of people think it's like, you know, it's superficial, it's for one thing, and it's not. Like, I am a person in the beauty industry who doesn't believe that the beauty industry is shallow or vain or one-dimensional. I think it is so deep and it's still not, I think, reached its full potential. I think beauty is, it's an emotion, it's empowering. I've definitely challenged norms, I've challenged everyone we worked with, from manufacturers to, um, you know, influencers. I don't know if I see what's going on on the outside. It's so funny, my husband says this to, to me all the time, he's like, you know, you're not the little guy anymore, but I don't see myself as anything else. I see myself as this person who's struggling to make a difference. Because everybody does self-sabotage, I didn't even realize it. Even when you think you're not doing it, you're doing it. My self-sabotage was when things were going really well, I was like, oh, something bad is gonna happen because it can't, everything can't be so good. Like, I don't wanna be like on a self-help you know, trip, but I do think that we were all meant to be a certain type of happy, but we've had these like certain issues happen that told us otherwise. I'm such a hardcore feminist and I really struggled with what that means. What does it mean to be a feminist? I've worked for so long, I've wanted for so long to be successful and now all of a sudden because I'm a woman, I feel bad for it. I feel guilty for being successful. Like that sucks. It sucks that like women have to feel that way. But it does, it happens all the time when women start all of a sudden But like when women when women want to do something amazing, they all of a sudden feel like like all of a sudden they have to become really masculine or they have to become really alpha or they have to do something, you know, and it's not right. Like it's as if we're not meant for it. For the longest time I just felt like I had to be like really, really harsh to be taken seriously as a CEO. And um, and I felt like when I understood that women could be both sides of it, it was really beautiful. And don't get me wrong, I can be an alpha female in a boardroom, but I also want to be loving and nurturing with my daughter as well. Like I want to remain that sexy, that part of, of being a woman as well. I finally have learned that I could be all of those things. And that's awesome. That's what a woman should, and a man should also be able to be all of those things as well. You know, it took me some time to get there, but I'm like, it feels really, really good to understand that. Oh my God, look at all this hair, guys. <laughs> do you see all this hair? <laughs> It's funny because I feel like I do do a lot of self work and I don't think I, I'd probably talk about that on the show. When do I feel most beautiful? I feel really, really beautiful. I know this is gonna sound really lame. I, I feel really, really beautiful when I'm with Noor. I love being her mom. It's really, really cool. And I don't only feel beautiful, I feel perfect. And I love that. It feels really, really good.